Hi. Hi. Welcome to Cooking with Dusty Cat one more time. Live, kinda, from Vancouver, British Columbia with one Iris Quinn. Hi Iris, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Awesome. You were our last guest on Stay Brony, my friends, weren't you? Yeah, well she, I'm not sure if you've done one since then. I haven't actually. Done, We've yeah. done a little bit of hiatus. Oh, but you know what? Okay. I'm here in town to take some voice acting lessons. What? So I thought, what? you know what? Why don't we stop in and do some cooking? Sounds what good to think? me. Absolutely. Sounds good to me. Yeah, so we're going to do something out of your cookbook, right? We are. I will show you the cookbook. It is called Salivation. And uh, hopefully everything in here will make you salivate. It, it will. So, I've had this cookbook. It, just reading it makes me salivate. And I'm the, re fine. the reason I, I wrote the cookbook is um, so many of my friends were en they were enjoying the recipes that I was cooking, and um, they asked me to give them the recipes constantly. So I put it together for family and friends, and then it kind of took off. Even more people wanted them, so it turned into a publication. So yeah, yeah. Actually, and we're doing one of your favorite easy recipes, right? We are. In fact, it's the easiest recipe, and it's basically opening cans. And what you can do with it is fantastic. I think it'll revolutionize a lot of families because you make it the chili. It's called roasting pan chili, and you make it in a roasting pan. And it is so easy and yet so delicious and so healthy. It's full of protein. And basically you're opening cans, but I'm gonna show you a couple of really fun different things. You, you can actually just have it as a chili, but you can also make incredible burritos. Burritos, yes. And you can also make delicious nachos. And oh, sprinkle this chili like over the top. Nachos. Lots of cheese. I like my nachos, yes. Right. So we need to make this, because I want to get to my nachos. Yeah, okay, all right, okay. so, all right, so. We are going to make the roasting pan chili in a roasting pan. A roasting yes. pan. Mm -hmm. yes. So you don't have one of these. They're actually uh, really inexpensive down at your local Target, Save Mart, Walmart, whatever. Oh yeah. That you can get these places. So, but yeah. you need a nice deep one because there's yeah. a lot of stuffs going in here. Yeah, this makes enough. You could you could make this and graze on it for two weeks. It'll oh. keep in the fridge. So mm. for students, for yes. people who are busy, mm -hmm. it's just a great thing to make and always have on hand, especially if you've got kids, yes. teenagers with hollow legs, all that stuff. So we okay. got in here. What do we got in here so far? Okay, we've got. On the go, we've got uh, three cans of um, uh, uh, canned tomatoes. Mm -hmm. um, we've got uh, two cans of corn niblets. So Second you just right just there. open your corn niblets, and the juice that's in the corn niblets, everything goes right into the roasting pan yes. like that. And now we go to our beans, right? Yeah, we go now, to the beans. Now we don't use the juice of the beans. No, no. 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 It could cause, shall we say? Yeah, we don't want that. No, 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 no. no so we're no, going no. to drain. Yes. Drain, we want to dry it. Yes. Drain it into the drain right here. So we're going to stuff all those in there. And get yep. That, drain them out. Well, next. Oh, yes. Get next. them all in there. All of it. Next. Lots of beans. Lots of beans. In fact, I'll tell you exactly how many beans. And Dusty is going to put the recipe up at the end yep. of, uh, of the program. So um, it's uh, three cans of diced tomatoes. Two cans of red kidney beans, two mm -hmm. cans of black beans, two cans of uh, corn niblets. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now Dusty's going to uh, rinse it yep. in cold water with his hands. See the hands are going in there. They're going in. Yeah. yeah. Rinse and, them all out. and it's just like washing all the beans in cold water. That's going to get rid of all that kind of glutinous stuff. Yep. Yeah. All the kind of. And you don't want to crush your beans. You just want to. Yes, you know you don't want to crush them. Don't crush the beans. Just get Do the not water through. crush the, the beans. beans. Yes. So now I have okay. wet beans. So now you just pop <laughs> all of those right in there. I'm just going to awesome. I'm just going to uh, move this over a little bit so I can just kind of show everybody. This is when we need one of those overhead cameras, but mm. I'll sort of bring it up into focus here. And it's kind of just juicy. Like so you can mm -hmm. see it makes a whole, whole bunch. bunch. Like it's just fantastic. And by the way, this is my favorite kitchen tool. You can get them in the States and in Canada. Mm -hmm. It looks like a kitty litter skew. But not. But not. not. Mm -hmm. So don't try to substitute a kitty litter skew. Mm -hmm. Get the real cooking one. But it's just fantastic because with the little holes it drains and it mixes and it takes a lot of heat. Anyway, fantastic tool. Yes. Okay, so... Um, what we do now is we add a little oil. A little oil? Yep. Okay. And we need uh, two thirds of a cup. 
two thirds. So, yeah. So this is a one cup measure, and I eyeball everything. I do too. Yeah. You know, it's like the, the middle of your hand is like a, an eighth of a teaspoon. Just a little bit right there. I know. Boom, done. After a while, you just get, just used, get used to, to it. it. So there we go. Two thirds of a cup mm -hmm. of um, grapeseed oil. And um, now the recipe calls for either uh, brown rice or white rice. In fact, you could just use, gosh, any rice you've got, to tell you the truth. Um, so I'm going to put as much of my brown rice, I don't have a full amount, but um, we need uh, one and a half cups of rice. So I'm just gonna put this in here. There's one cup. Oh. Do you know what I'm going to do? Well, I am going to drain it because I think that's a good thing. Um, some rice comes packed in talcum powder, which is, which is uh, interesting. It's it's harmless, they say, um, but still, I think it's a good idea just to give the rice a little bit of a wash. Okay, so just. Do this just like you did with the beans. This is the best tool you will <laughs> ever, ever use. use. Remember on my burger recipe, people, get your hangers in there and get it into the meat and you gotta do, oh yeah. yeah. These work all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you wash them first. <laughs> okay, so now like we did. we've washed the rice. Mm -hmm. Get all that kind of white talcum -y, uh, stuff. stuff off. off. Yeah. We're done with that. Okay, we're done with that. And, um, Actually, I did have the cup and a half, so I don't have to add any of the uh, white rice. So I'll okay. just, uh, I'll top that okay, over on the other side here. too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm just going to bring this back into okay. our frame. Wanna mix that all up? Yep, yep. Do you want to do that mix? I will do that. I'll okay, do you do that. Mm -hmm. And um, I am I'm going good for to, uh, now it calls for one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Ooh, good stuff. But I actually have it heaping because I like it hot. hot. Yes. Hot, yeah. Hot. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Yum. And now I will also add chili powder and it calls for two tablespoons. So there's one tablespoon. Yep. And two tablespoons. There we go. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So that's, that's going looking awesome. That. Look at that, people. Colorful and delicious and yummy. And how simple is that? And how simple is that? Just put it I all mean, in there. Look, if you want to get fancy too, this is like the bare bones recipe. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can caramelize some onions and throw in. Wow, that'd be awesome. Uh, yes, yeah. and also while you're caramelizing the onions, uh, dice up about four or five um, yeah. celeries. Celeries? Oh, yeah. yeah. Celery with, with, and just you could just do that. But this is the bare bones, and it's mm -hmm. delicious bare bones. So this yeah. is this is. It's like the building blocks of anything. You can yeah. put celery in here. You can put. Just put any other vegetable in here. You could put meat in here. Oh yes, you could. You could make a meat chili. Oh, it's absolutely. Very easy. Oh my gosh. You could put chunk beef in here. You could put yes. pork in here. Yeah. You could put sausages in here. Yes. You could put venison in here. You could. This oh. happens to be a vegetarian one, but yes. definitely. If you like meat. Yeah. Yep, there you go. But I would fry up um, yeah. the ground mm -hmm. turkey your, or the ground yep, beef, fry whatever. It up before you put it in here. Yeah, before you put it in. Mm. And then all those flavors are just going to melt. Mm. But yeah. um, but seriously, this is one of those, you go, who yeah. needs the meat? We're about there. Okay, so. Right? That's it. That's Bing. Bing. So what you do is you, you want to cover it. Okay. And you put it in the oven. Mm hmm. Uh, and you're going to slow roast it at 350 for approximately three and a half to four hours. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I'm just going to put that in the oven and we will be back shortly. We're back! back. Okay, now, okay. yes. All right, so through the magic of television, we have our chili. And nice. This, this is it smells awesome. It's yes. great. This is what it looks like. Um, it's it's thick. Yes. But if you if you take it out, the way you want to test whether it's done is whether or not the rice has fully 
bloomed yes. and uh, that it, the rice isn't crunchy. So yes. once the rice has actually cooked through, it's done. Now, if you find for some reason it's a little, um, a little wet, take a potato masher and just mash it. Now the beans will actually start to thicken it a bit. So you can thicken your chili, any chili, mm -hmm. by just taking a, masher a, a, a masher to it and then that thickens it up. But this looks like a good consistency for what we want. Absolutely. Now we're, now we're, we're going to do a couple of things with this, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to make some bolitos. Yes. Right? And we're yes. going to make some nachos. Yes, absolutely. So I need to I need to get you some cheese and yep. I need to get some cilantro. So yep. sous chef Dusty is on his way right now. Okay. So I'm going to do this and do that. Okay. Shall we sing a song? Sing a song. Mm -hmm. This is how I chop the cilantro oh, song. Oh. Yes. I think it's about enough for dinner. So. Okay. There we go. Cheese and cilantro. Cheese and cilantro. Is there anything better? You? Nope. Okay. Mexican food. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Okay. There we go. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So, uh, let's do, let's do the, uh, the nachos, nachos first. Nachos. Okay. Nachos. Yes. So good. Yes. Okay. Uh, so. A little cheesy. A little cheese. Nice handful here. Oh, yeah. And just because we don't want the bottom ones not to have any cheese, I kind of like to Sneak it in there. Sneak it in. Yep. Sneak get in, in there. there, get it in, yep. and and then it just pops under the broiler until mm -hmm. this top cheese melts, and yep. then it will come out. Yep. And uh, once it comes out, you want to take your your chili and cut all over it. Yep. And actually, if you've refrigerated the chili, you can put the chili on first, then put it in the broiler. And then it's all nice and warm, right? Oh yes, it has to be warm for sure. Oh, yeah. You, yeah you so if, if you if you heat the chili up, so yes. you put it in the fridge and you're saving it, do this, put the chili on top, stick it in the broiler, mm. and then, then you hit it with a little cilantro. Cilantro, uh, yes. beautiful, which we will show you on one of these. Yep. Okay, so let's do some burritos. All right, so the second thing that you can do with it, actually, it's the third because when it first comes out, you can just have a bowl of chili. Just eat it. Just eat it. Mm -hmm. So the next thing that we can do is a roll up. Okay. So you take, you take. About that much. About that much. It looks to me like yeah. just under a cup. You don't have to measure it. Don't you measure just, it. Just, just, just dip it in there. Yeah, and you want it out to the end so you just don't get all. Okay. So you, um, you, you. Uh, are you getting this, like the, the oh, first yeah. tack? Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah. um, so the, the trick to doing a roll-up is you, you get it over this much, mm -hmm. and then you kind of, with your fingers, fold it in half, okay. and you kind of do this. And this oh. way, oh. it's not going to all splat oh. out the bottom. Yeah. Yes. So there is your nice burrito. And then you're going to put it in a pan, and I'm just going to slip over here and then come back and show you. So we're going to do about 12 of them. Then you sprinkle it with cheese. Yeah. And then you bake it for probably a 350 for maybe half an hour. Yeah. And the cheese will all melt. Mm -hmm. And then of course, the garnish of choice, the garnish that you want is... Um, a little sour cream. Now, sour cream is great, but it's mm -hmm. a little on the high fat side. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Little bit. But there's... So it's so good, but trust me, once you start using yogurt, seriously, it really? is really, it gives it, it's that got that sharp taste mm -hmm. and uh, it's got the beautiful sour cream consistency. Uh -huh. Or you could also mix half and half, but I just, I just love the tang okay. that the, uh, the yogurt gives it. So you would serve these burritos on a plate um, with, uh, some of this on the side mm -hmm. and then just sprinkle the plate all over with the greenery. The greenery. It's so pretty. That's awesome. It's so pretty. Yep. And that can be by itself or you can also make a nice side salad with the uh, with the burritos. Yeah, you can do that too. You, yeah. could, you could use that as a salad. The, the, Wouldn't a, ma a manly salad? A manly, yes. okay. I, can, I can see this now, right? Okay, yeah. you go, yeah. go get yourself one of these, right? And what you do is you put it in the oven Yep. And you put it over a cup, right, to make yourself a bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yes, to make yourself idea. a bowl, you yeah. turn that upside down, yeah. fill it full of this and that, yes, yes. And a little bit of lettuce, oh, gosh. and it's a 5,000 calorie salad. It doesn't have to be 5,000. It doesn't have to be 5,000. No. no, not with this stuff. No, no, no. But there no. you go. So no. you can actually make those bowl salads, like you can get it like Yes, you, know, you can. Taco Bell. They actually um, sell, I think, hang on one second. <gasps> 
I think. Do I have one close by? Shoot, I Those don't. scallop shaped things. Yeah, they, you, they, they actually sell them in cooking stores. Mm -hmm. it, it's like a scallop shaped thing that yep. is specifically designed to for put making these those in. Holes. You, you pop them in the oven at 350 for about eight minutes, mm -hmm. and when you bring them out, it's solid. Yep. It creates a bowl, and then you could do like a layered mm -hmm. salad with the chili yep. and the cilantro. And Maybe. So it, right, yeah, manly salad. Menu. Sweet. Oh. And that is how we do the chile. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This has been wonderful. It's been fun. Yeah, and you know what? We're going to go eat some dinner. Yum. <sighs> Yum. So, Nat, that was been cooking with Dusty Cat one more time. So, hopefully, we <laughs> do some more of these remotes with some of our friends. Happy eats, my friends. What? We forgot to tell everyone where they can get the, the book. The book. Oh, we did, didn't we? Where can we get our book? You can get our book. Her book. <laughs> no, not my book. It's our book now. You're in, hundred <laughs> percent. You can get this book at my website, irisquinn.com. Yes, if you wanted to have this recipe and all the rest of the recipes from meats to all this stuff vegetables, chickens, all that stuff, all in the book. It's all delicious, trust me. Thank you. <laughs>